Where are you going? Hmm? One minute, how, how do you get in? How do we get in? By foot you came or you took the car? Just the, yeah, sure. the taxi. Taxi from where? Taxi? From where? From Colombia. Uh, Colombia? Mm. What is in your bag? Can I see, please? <laughs> sure, I will, sure. So, good, have a good day. Show me what are you writing? Banana <laughs> glitter. Yeah. Stories. <laughs> yeah. huh? Do you have any stories yourself? I love what? Day, yeah. One interesting stories. Yeah. Want yeah. to write something? What? What No, we, I we, speak we, English. In ah, I speak yeah. English very good. Uh, this is uh, not a metal. Cameras, no cameras. Uh -huh. All right. What? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Be proud. Because of these roadblocks that, that Israel's put in, um, Palestinians now have a real problem of moving, moving around and that's what's bringing about the humanitarian crisis, for example. But we don't go into the whole, the politics behind that, but I mean, you know, frankly, you don't have to. You see it for yourself and you can make up your own mind. Is it separation in all the levels that you can think about it? It's not just separation between the, the Israelis and the, the Palestinians. Like what's happening in the occupied territories, what's happening for the Palestinians, what's happening in the Syria and the Golan Heights, what's happening in South Lebanon. It's, uh, yes, it's like out of the lines, it's beyond the green light. It doesn't have any relation to what's happening to you on your social political life as an Israeli. What's happened over the last, say, 15 years is quite interesting. Basically before the Oslo Accords in 1993, Israel essentially ran the, the, the occupied territory in West Bank and Gaza. Um, so it, ran, it was responsible for the health system, the education system and everything else. It, was, it, it functioned as, a, as an occupying power and it took responsibility for doing that. It was like for a long time very, very difficult. And the, the Palestinians somehow they adjust themselves to the occupation system. My feeling is, is that basically there's a, there's definitely a, there's obviously a security element there because you know, um, you know the suicide bombs and terrorist attacks into Israel. So there is a, you know, they have they have security, they have definite security concerns. The build, the building of settlements, for example, is a political, um, is a political issue. And when you put, when you build the settlements inside of West, inside of the West Bank, and then you have to protect those people with security. That seems to be a sort of a, a security political argument sort of mixed up together. I mean, obviously, Israel doesn't want their settlers to be killed, but then on the other hand, um, putting them bang smack in the middle of, a, of, a, of another area that doesn't belong to you in an occupied area is an illegal act under international law. The Palestinians are, are, are people like everyone. They really they have the ambitions, they have dreams, they have. What every human being on this earth, I mean, he has. And of course, when, when you see every day your dream is like shrinking uh, and you cannot do anything, of course it will be very frustrating. Um, all goods going out are controlled by Israel. Um, workers that used to work in Israel no longer, many of them don't no longer work there. There used to be 150,000, now there's about 20,000. That changed in, in a matter of a few years. The movement around the West Bank there's 500 blocks and checkpoints that stop movement around the, the West Bank. Um, I don't think people quite understand just exactly what, how locked down the West Bank and Gaza actually is. Very bad. Very bad. Yeah, very, very bad. bad. Not good.
do you believe that uh, any body came from uh, Russia or another I have the right to take mm. one piece of land here and build a house and live here but I am the owner of the land I have no right to to build a house if they if they don't uh, agree they will uh, destroy the houses many uh, thousands of houses were destroyed is it, is home, uh, it's very near to the wall is it difficult to get to just and they say the wall is for security but we know that the uh, mm. wall is to get more land without people and to put pressure not on the people in the West Bank but on the people in Jerusalem and inside Israel. Mm. But the problem is also that the people in Jerusalem and in inside Israel, not all of them understand this. They think that this wall is only for the West Bank and to keep the West Bank from getting inside. She says she is a refugee. She is from a village near Ramli. She says uh, even in 1948 or also in 1967, many people were uh, obliged to go and to drive them out of their village, three villages near. Uh, to the northwest of uh, Jerusalem. بتلهم ككل مش بحكي عن مخيم كبيت لهم ككل في شيء شجرات كوت فيها طبيعة أنا بفتح التلفزيون لو كانت والله بالأمانة. We are talking about the the life the nature. Now we are living in the camp. You can't find a tree to sit under. ما كنت التلفزيون عن جد أوقات بحضر فيلم عن فرنسا ولا أشوف الخضار أشوف ضيع نفسيا نفسيا برتاح الأمانة. بس مجرد اني اشوف ايش حالة بكون على اليوم بس اكبى قاعد بين هنال بديش العالم شلي هاته طبيعة تكون بين طبيعة فيش انا ايش اسمه طبيعة او ضعنا ما فيش حرام جبال <تصفيق> الجد والله الامانة some of the houses were destroyed because they used the big tanks to go through the the narrow streets for example this this house as you see, yeah. it was destroyed and uh, I think the European Union spent uh, money to fix this, uh, this house. Yeah. 